everyone and welcome to this bipartite technical video on GPT-27930. My name is Ernst Christmann and I work for Vector Limited Liability Company as a technical trainer in the team number two of the product line training. In the first video, I will cover the theory of the above mentioned protocol. And in the second part, I will show you the tooling as provided by Vector. As mentioned, today's topic is GPT-27930, which is a Chinese protocol for smart charging, and it is a derivative from the protocol SAE-J1939. Many people talk about GPT when in fact they mean GPT-27930. GPT is Chinese, and I will not try to start to pronounce the Chinese words because I will most likely mangle them, but it merely stands for National Standard Recommended. So please say GBT27930 when talking about this protocol for smart charging. As you can see from this chart, China has many national standards in the make which have evolved to the point to be recommended. So the term GBT does not really tell much. GPT-27930 is based on J1939, as mentioned, and describes a dedicated CAN bus for only two network nodes, the charger and the battery management system. So it is a peer point-to-point -point connection for only two ECUs, which always have the same fixed addresses. The Chinese, hence, stripped away everything from J1939 they deemed not to need. And there is no need for quite a plethora of things. For example, no network management, no address claiming, no name management, no broadcast transport protocol, BAM, which is a lame duck anyhow. Diagnostics is contained in both versions of GBT-27930, the one from 2011, as well as the one from 2015, but it differs from J1939 quite a lot and is likely not to be used. At first encounter, the two nodes will introduce each other. So the first says, hello, I'm the charger. In response, the other one says, hello, my name is BMS. So the charger says, what can I do for you? The BMS says, well, I think I need a refill. This is the prompt to negotiation phase. One tells what it needs, the other what it can do. Then the real charging business begins, which eventually has to be suspended and finally ended or terminated. On this slide, you may study the first four of these six phases of communication. All phases except phase four, which is the charging process as mentioned before, work according to a kind of ping pong principle. So when the cable is connected, the charger starts by sending CHM, charger handshake message. The BMS receives CHM, checks the connection, and if successful, returns BHM, the BMS handshake message. On having received the BHM, the charger checks for compatibility. If OK, it sends another message. Charger and BMS then are proceeding like a ping pong match. Then the green phase is the real deal. This is the actual charging process. Within phase four, the charging process as mentioned, there are no more state transitions. The two partners exchange information independently and periodically. The BMS says what it needs and publishes its status. The charger says what it can deliver and sends the charging status. Of course, things like temperatures and power fluctuations need to be taken care of. By the way, here is the reason why diagnostics is not needed. The two partners exchange a multitude of status information, including of what goes wrong. Finally, the process can be ended because either the battery is full, a certain time limit is reached, or the journey is continued without the battery being fully charged. Of course, things may turn south and go wrong. 
the battery may overheat, the power line may break or be disconnected, or the municipal power grid may turn turbulent, which can result in access deviations from the negotiated values for current and voltage. So the charging process then needs to be suspended and terminated. On this slide, you can study the details of suspension and termination of the charging process. Depending on who initiated this, the status diagrams look a little different. In this case, the battery management system suspends the charging process. While on this slide, you can see what it looks like if the charger suspends the process. As you may have realized by now, GBT27930 is not complex rocket science. But there are some pitfalls and traps which mainly arise from the huge number of com companies and production facilities involved. Worldwide, we already have a great number of companies building batteries and battery management systems. But when it comes to China, the numbers turn from great to huge. Thousands of cities and municipalities run their own productions of chargers. And maybe you remember the old saying about the number of cooks being inversely related to the quality of the broth. <laughs> so here lie the problems. The details of GBT27930 may be interpreted differently. And that's where the devil is. Hence, developing vehicles for the Chinese market involves thorough testing. And here we from Vector step in. We have developed a simulation in Canoe with a charger and a battery management system which communicate according to GPT-27930. This serves as a reference for testing. So a company developing a battery management system can switch off the simulated BMS in our canoe simulation and run tests on their BMS against the simulated charger. On the other hand, a Chinese company developing chargers We'll switch off the simulated charger to test their real charger against the simulated battery management system. On this slide, you can see the theory about what you can test with the canoe setup. But, of course, I will let you have a glimpse of what this looks like in the real tool canoe. This I will do in a separate second part of this video.